everyone. I'm here today with my son Nathan, who is 23 years old, and he has been talking to me about things that I had no idea about. And it's really good talking to millennials because they just know what's up. So I asked Nathan to come here with me today at my hotel room in Sydney and tell you what he's just been talking to me about. So Nathan, what's happening? What, what is it that I don't know? And like many other people may not know. Yeah, what, yeah. What's happening? Uh, I mean, what we were talking about yesterday, if you want to start there, yeah. is uh, yeah. what we've got is um, every everyone my age or, or even a little bit younger or people that work solely on the computer or, or in front of a screen all day having really, really big problems with anxiety. They're going from this very safe place in front of their face and they're pulling it down and going, oh shit, and it's causing a lot of problems, especially when people are spending 12 hours to, to 20 hours a day in front of, that's insane. In front of screens. Doing if you have what? A, well, if you have an eight-hour job, that's eight hours in front of a computer yep. screen, then an hour on the train, an hour on the train on the way home, and then you go and watch five hours of TV at night, and then you go and do your emails and then go to bed. But you, your, your generation's hours. not watching TV, are you? Not watching TV. My generation don't watch TV at all. Um, but in front of a screen, yes. But, but you watch Netflix and YouTube. Yeah, yeah, of so course. So you go to YouTube? We watch more TV than anybody. We don't actually watch TV. Yeah, like <laughs> Channel 7, Channel 9, Channel 10, yeah. ABC. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so what does that mean? So... If this is becoming your real world and then this is scary and then you go back to this, what does some that mean? Major problems coming up. Uh, it's all going to be fine. It's going to get very bad and then it's all going to clear itself up. You're going to get lots and lots and lots and lots of people not willing to interact with the real world. Yeah. Um, you're going to get lots and lots and lots of women your age very frustrated and angry with their kids and don't, not understanding that there's sort of there's this dichotomy going on because it didn't happen to you. Yep. So it's um, hard for us to just see. Or this. empathize because yep. you've grown up in the real world and completely connected to the real world where lots of people my my age are. Yeah, that's not true. Not exposed. Right. So especially what does, if they grow up in cities. Okay. So what does that mean? So what does it mean? Uh, well, either. It's, few ways it can go um everyone will decide that's fine let's all just live in a digital space and we won't have anything to do with the scary outside world which not not impossible oh yeah or technology will get more user-friendly it will be less interfering so it'd be something like google glass instead of a phone that's still behaving in the real world whilst getting all the the information you need so, so if people are looking for information all the time, is that what they're doing, learning new things? Or are they yeah, just well the, doing, learning the same things over and over again well the, kind of thing? There's, there's both, both of that going on. Someone today gets more information out of one edition of the New York Times than someone who lived 1,000 years ago would have received in their entire life. So if you count right. new bits yep. of information, yep. where we get more out of a newspaper than someone got in their entire life. And newspapers are a completely different thing to a news feed as well because that doesn't end news and it gets refreshed forever. every half an hour. Yep. We're receiving yep. 100 billion times more information a year than people, same species as us with the same brain, could deal with a that's thousand insane. years ago. Yeah, that's insane. So it's, it's, it's going to keep going until it strains itself out because it's still, it's grow, it's in its growing pains right now. That's why there's so many issues of people with anxiety and yeah. so many issues of people not being able to keep up with the advances of, of technology that, you know, aren't across everything yet. Yeah, so the, that's hard for my generation. Of not Not hard, but it's a challenge because we don't know what we don't know. And it's, it's, it's hard to keep up with everything that's going mm -hmm. on. So you feel like you don't know enough. Yeah, but it's, so, it's, it's going to be okay. There's good news. What you've got in your phone with Siri is very, 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 very basic. But if you can extrapolate that and you use that as a as an idea of what it's going to be like, you won't have to interact with your technology very soon. You'll be able to tell it what you want. Really? And it will understand exactly what you need. Mean there's that not, would be good. Yeah, there's never going to be user error anymore. 
So if you're not quite so what, across everything yet, that's okay because it's going to meet you there. How? How is that going to happen? So Siri can do certain things for you now and there are certain things she can't do. But I don't use Siri very much because I can't get it to go right. Yeah, because you don't know what you can and can't ask it yet. Yeah. But yeah. very, very soon, doesn't matter what you ask it, she'll be able to do it. Is that artificial intelligence? That's the precursor to artificial intelligence. So that's probably two years away. A true artificial intelligence is probably another six to ten years away. True artificial intelligence is going to change everything. And that's, what, tell, tell them what that is. That's, that's, that's <laughs> coming. It's, it's not too far off where basically where we're at now is, is computers are as smart as people. But they can't think for themselves, so there's no problem. Um... With, with the growth curve that technology's on, each generation of technology uses the last generation of technology to build the next one. So it gets exponentially more powerful, not... So it won't get a little bit more powerful, it'll double and double and double. Right. Until there's no competition. So uh, it will take every labor job, basically. It will saturate the market, it will... Humans will have to find the next thing that they're good at. Like the Industrial Revolution wiped out all the farmers. Yep. Artificial intelligence is going to wipe out 50 to 80% of all the jobs that exist now. That is pretty scary. That's, that's mm -hmm. pretty scary. Yeah, but if you, so, if you think about it in a, in a more safe way, I mean, all the people I went to school with, you know, a lot of them are social media marketers. There's yep. a job that didn't exist six years ago. Um, but what about builders and doctors and... All done. All done. <sighs> really? Yep. How can a machine build they've a got house? A ro they've got a robot they now that plumbing? can... They've got a robot now. They had a... Uh, there's an issue with heart surgery. There's, there's a certain type of heart surgery that's very difficult to do. No doctors can do it. They, can, they know physically the steps involved, but no doctor is good enough to actually do the surgery. They've just built a robot that can do it repetitively eight times a day every day without fail without falter without rest it doesn't get paid it doesn't sleep it doesn't eat wow and i know that's already happening with cars driverless cars and yep. driverless trucks and so driverless the, num the, transport. The, the, the number one job internationally for men is driver so that's posty that's uh taxi driver bus driver truck driver garbage truck driver school bus driver Train driver transport all of that is done now. So that's not in the future. That's not coming. That's like the, the technology for self-driving cars is here. Yeah, but it, it's not happening though. Y yeah, it is. It's happening, it, I know, in the Northern Territory. The, no, no. The trucks are driving themselves. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's going to take a year or two years or three years, but short term is in the next two years is over. Everyone in that profession has lost their job. So what that means is everyone's going to get smarter or they're going to fail and you know, we're not going to let yeah. half of the population fail. So Just like we, we didn't do? let all the farmers die off. They all got jobs in the factories and they all earn more money and we're able to raise smarter children that were able to go on and do better than they had done. And what did you say about Elon Musk and they're, they're talking about um, having everybody have a purpose instead of working? Yeah, so that's... What, what's that? <sighs> like long term, if these computers and... and Artificial intelligence takes over the world. <laughs> what there's there's a plan, isn't there, for all the people? There's there's a plan for all the people. What we've got is we're at the end of an eighty year cycle right now. Um, yeah, explain that what that means. So every eighty years or so, no, it's not exactly eighty years. There's a there's a culture revolt where the the newest generation will wipe out the culture of the previous generation. Which so is we're which we're is pretty much due for two thousand twenty a, a, a big culture shock soon. So you're saying your generation is going to out all out all of the well, things that were culturally relevant to you are going to disappear. So. Television has less viewers now than it had in the 60s, even though there's triple the amount of people on Earth. Right. No one is watching free to air TV. There's no, there's, there's, there's no competition anymore between that system and the internet. Everything is losing to the internet. So what you're going to have is and those, our religion, those and our school schools, systems. universities, religion, all of these types of things are, are do basically done. So, so how can you how can you say that about schools? Like I know the system's letting a lot of the kids down, but so how is your generation going to change schooling? When I went to school during the time I was at school, 
the jobs that w- were prospects for me when I started yep. often didn't exist or weren't relevant by the time I finished. I started okay. before an iPod came out. When yep. I finished, everyone's working on laptops. Yeah, yeah. All, all the stuff, like it, it's, it's preparing you for something that is never going to happen. Nobody knows, needs to know how to do algebra anymore. There's no point having a mathematics class when you have the best mathematician on earth in your pocket. So at you all can times. ask Siri a maths of course I equation. Can. <laughs> but I wouldn't know to do that. Siri, what's four plus four thousand minus four thousand? Yeah, like that would be eight. <laughs> it's it's not. She can she, like. She can do more than that, but. But the the whole school system okay. is, is completely done. And we're teaching kids things they don't need to know because I know when your generation um, grew up and started working because we employ young people, they didn't know how to um, post a, how to write the name and address on a letter and where to put the stamp. It was the strangest thing. Where, where do I put the stamp? It's like, <laughs> you don't know those things. And there's a, there's a whole lot of things that are probably just not necessary. Mm-hmm. So you, you've got to learn new things that mm-hmm. are necessary. But when you started talking about all the young people having anxiety about the real world and the scary... It's because we haven't grown up in it the way you did. You grew up in the real world because there wasn't another option. Right. But now we've got two choices where one is all of the accumulated knowledge of mankind right and infinite possibility or pre-programmed tv shows yeah but then we talked about you know we would connect with each other like well if you guys go out you're you're doing this the whole time yeah yeah (laughs) Whereas before, we go out and we talk or yeah, we bring yeah. each other on of the course. phone. Of course, you guys and... are much better at that than us. Yeah. So what's the solution? What's the end game? Look, for people in your generation, people your age, yeah. uh, just remember when, when the, the automobile started to become uh, popular, the companies that made horse and carriage got very, very, very worried. And they knew they were going to go out of business and they knew it was going to be bad. But long term... They were okay. They got jobs in the auto industry. They were fine. I know, but... everyone Everyone's going to find their place, um, but it might be a little bit tumultuous getting there. Okay, so on a more positive note... That's so very if you're positive. a woman in your 50s and all this is swirling around and like our kids are um, obsessed with this and, and people around us also are and, and the jobs are being given to the younger people who have the different sort of knowledge, what's... Well, just learn more? Yeah, I would say firstly, get, get don't more. get upset with your kids spending too much time on their screens. Uh, you've got to understand that it's not the same for them as it was for you. Yep. And, uh, yeah, just try learn. and learn as much as you can learn before more. it overtakes you. But you'll catch up eventually. You'll have to. Okay. That's pretty daunting. Give me something else. <laughs> something else I can grab onto. <laughs> that's, that's positive. That's very positive. That's positive. Okay, so learn more. It's all going to be all right. Yeah, and I can come Don't and ask panic. you. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you guys aren't going to know how to do the things that we know how to do. So that's what we're here for. Well, that's what to we share got our that with you. For. That's what we got our technology no, but for. The phone can't tell you how to care for somebody. Oh, that's true. How to look after someone, how to make someone feel better. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Nathan. That's okay, Shelley. Thank you for sharing this information with us and have a great day. I can do-